Welcome back. All right, so this game's on its own, and boy, what a story it tells. Uh, you know, uh, one thing I'll say is that tonight has is kind of, it, it feels like the races are over in the West. So while the East is this craziness, and we have no idea who's going to be where, and I could do an updated video tomorrow looking at the race in the East, because we have six games tomorrow night, and things could change again tomorrow night. we got 11 games on Saturday, so uh, it's going to be pretty interesting next 48 hours. Uh, this was not the interesting part of the next 48 hours. I'm just being honest. So it's Reddick versus Blackwood. The shots were 2-1 to one for San Jose three minutes in. Uh, Laferriere to Anderson gets picked off. Lewis has a tip shot that saved. The Kings press at six minutes. The Sharks then get some pressure at seven minutes. Uh, the shots are 4-2 to two for the Kings at eight and a half minutes, meaning over those five and a half minutes, the Sharks didn't have a shot on net. Uh, Arvison's denies the Kings press. And then on a breakaway, Campe wires one at 10.55. And then... Shortly thereafter, at 11 minutes and 12 seconds, Akil Thomas with his first NHL goal in only his second NHL game. Spence and Dubois with the assist. So he wires that one from the slot. And honestly, it's great to see Thomas at the NHL level, getting a goal at the NHL level. At this time last year, there was some debate about whether or not he'd ever make it to the NHL. Uh, he has been labeled a bust a couple of times. So I'm really, really glad that Akil Thomas has made it. And he looks like he belongs. Uh, so the goals were on back-to-back -back shots, and that's where the goal scoring ended for the LA Kings tonight. Uh, Ruta has a blast that's held as the Sharks press. There's a near miss for Byfield as the Kings get some pressure. There's a press by LA with four and a half minutes left. Granlin has a net drive that's saved. Kings press with two minutes left. Zadina's denied on a rush with 35.8 seconds left. The Kings get a power play. So that rolls over into the second period. The Kings up 2-0. And, uh, of course, I did the, the review of the first eight games in between the first and second intermission. So I get over to the second, or after, um, after I was done the video, I go back over to the game, and I'm like, all right, how much did I miss? Well, I missed about six minutes. So first off, um, the Sharks finished the kill. And secondly, six minutes into the period, the Kings had one shot. San Jose had nothing. So I did not rewind the rest because there were no fights. There were no penalties. And I was like... Okay, so the game was nice. Uh, made sure nothing happened while I wasn't watching. Uh, we get a power play for the Sharks. The Kings don't let them set up. That's killed off without a shot, so nothing happened there. Teams exchange rushes. The shots with nine and a half minutes left were one apiece. Uh, the Kings press are kept to the outside. England has a wrister that's held. England then had a fight with Cunning. Uh, the Sharks press with six and a half minutes left. We get a power play for San Jose, and it's a four-minute power play. They cycle. Uh, the Kings clear. Bordalo has a chance. It's tipped wide. It's cleared again. Zadina has a shot that's held. Those four minutes get killed off by the Kings. Uh, the Kings press with a minute and a half left. With 56.6 .6 seconds left, the Kings get a power play. So for the second straight period, they get a power play in the final minute. Kempe has a shot that deflects out. We're going to the third period with the score 2-0 for L.A. Uh, the Kings cycle early in the third, remembering they're on the power play. Uh, Roy has a shot that's held. The Sharks finish the kill. Three shots for the Kings during that power play. Uh, we get a press by the Kings at two and a half minutes. They end up drawing a power play. They cycle. Doughty has a shot that's held. That power play's killed off. There's a breast, brief press by the Kings after it's done. Uh, the shots are 4 nothing. LA at seven minutes. The Kings press at nine minutes. The Sharks fail to clear. Arvidsson has a shot that's held. Byfield's then denied on a rush. The Sharks press with nine minutes left. A lot of one and done in that second half. Not a lot in terms of sustained pressures at that point in the game. Uh, with 5.09 left, the Kings draw a power play. There's an early clear and another. Roy has a shot this block. There's a late cycle. Then there's a shorthanded 2 on 1 that misfires. However, it does help to finish the kill. The goalie pull happens with 2.23 left. And at 18.08, Clem Costin makes it a 2 to 1 game. Uh, Granlin and Eklund with the assists. And he bears that from the right circle. And, and all of a sudden, I could feel like, oh no, is this going to overtime? I made the joke in the preview this morning, right? I was like, oh, come on now. Come on now. We don't, we don't need extra. L.A. San Jose game. We don't need more of, of it. Uh, at any point, uh, at, at any rate, I should say, uh, the Sharks end up pulling the goalie. The Kings ice the puck with a minute 13 left. Costin has a shot that deflects out. He tried to break a stick there, too, because um, he was not happy that shot deflected out. I think he had a clear shot at the net, and it just didn't happen. 45.7 seconds left when that shot deflects out. The Sharks call a timeout. Bordalo has a shot that's held. That's about as close as they get. Your final score is 2-1. LA wins in regulation. They go to 40-25-11 and 11 with the win. They keep themselves within one point in Nashville, who won earlier tonight. Uh, San Jose 17-50-8. So 50 regulation losses again for the Sharks. 
Shots on net, 12-8 LA in the first, 5-4 San Jose in the second, 12-3 LA in the third. Final shots are 28-16 for the Kings. Power plays, LA 0 for 4, San Jose 0 for 3. The hits, 16-8 for the Sharks. Riddick saves 15 out of 16. Blackwood saved 26 out of 28. I thought Blackwood played well. Uh, this game honestly probably should have been 4-1, to one, something in that region, but Blackwood did a good job after allowing goals on back-to-back -back shots. He didn't allow anything the rest of the night. So, that being said, you guys are all caught up. Let me know your thoughts on this game in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And yeah, so we got six games tomorrow night, but they're not as weirdly scheduled as tonight's. So that, that will be just one video as usual. Thank you guys for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.